Before diving into our first React Native project, it's crucial to explore a vital topic, Expo versus React Native. While both frameworks allow for the development of Android and iOS apps, they differ significantly in terms of maintenance, ease of setup, and platform compatibility. Now we already know what React Native is. React Native is an open source framework maintained by Meta or Facebook designed for building cross-platform apps. Expo, on the other hand, is an independent open source framework maintained by Expo itself. While they share this common goal, their approaches and additional features set them apart. Unlike plain React Native, which can be challenging and time-consuming to set up, Expo provides a streamlined experience. One of the key advantages of Expo is its suite of tools and services built around React Native, which greatly simplifies the development process. If it helps, Expo is to React Native how Next.js is to React. With plain React Native, you cannot build iOS apps on a Windows or Linux machine. Native iOS apps can only be built on a Mac OS machine. With Expo, you can develop your app on Windows or Linux and still run your app on a physical iPhone. I also want to mention, Expo has evolved significantly over the years and now supports nearly all the features necessary for building enterprise mobile apps. However, in the event that you do require access to native Android or iOS code, Expo allows you to eject your app and work with a plain React Native code base. This flexibility ensures that you have the option to leverage the additional functionalities provided by Expo while still retaining the ability to tap into native code when necessary. If you're new to React Native and exploring the official React Native documentation, the load is that Expo is the default choice for setting up your development environment. This endorsement by the React Native community highlights Expo as the optimal starting point for beginners. Expo provides a smoother onboarding experience and a robust set of tools to kickstart your React Native journey and is what we will be using in this series. If that is clear, join me in the next video where we will create our first React Native project using Expo.